Hello, this is a screencast for Uniprobe Desktop. Uniprobe is free and open source software designed to measure internet censorship and other forms of network interference developed by Uni. If you haven't installed Uniprobe yet, please follow the link in the description to find a version of the application that would fit your device. Currently, Uniprobe is available as a mobile version for Android, Android and iOS, and as a desktop version for Windows and MacOS. If you are on Linux, please install Uniprop command line interface. This screencast only covers the desktop version of the app. The interface and functionality is slightly different for the mobile version. Once you complete the onboarding process, you will see the main menu with six types of tasks that are available through the Uniprop app. The website's card includes an Uniprop task for measuring the blocking of websites. The specific websites that are tested are included in public community-curated lists, which we refer to as test lists. There are two types of test lists, the global list, which includes internationally relevant websites, and country-specific test lists, which only include websites that are relevant to your country. When testing websites with Uniprobe, you will test websites included in both the global list and in your country test list. Let's go to the main dashboard. So the instant messaging card includes Uniprop tests for measuring the blocking of WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Telegram and Signal apps. Then the CERC mention card includes Uniprop tests for checking if Tor and Siphon VPN work on your network. Then the performance card includes tests that measure the speed and performance of your network. And the middle box card includes tests which check if network devices, which could potentially be responsible for censorship or surveillance, are present on your network. And the experimental card includes new experimental tests designed by the UNI team. So, back to the main dashboard again. And when you click the Run button here on the top of the screen, you'll run all available tests. If you would like to interrupt the tests, you can simply click the cross on the top of the screen and the tests will stop running. If you only want to run tests related to the website's messenger, circumvention or performance, please choose the relevant card and click Run. So let's go to the test results section now. Here you can see the results of all tests you run manually with the latest tests listed first. In the top header of the test results screen, there is an overview of the number of Uniprobe tests you have run so far, the number of networks on which you have run Uniprobe, and your Uniprobe data usage. Now please click on the test result to view details. In each test result, you will have an overview of the date and time of testing, such as August 22nd, 5.24 pm, the summary of relevant findings, for example, 232 websites were found accessible, while three, unfortunately, were blocked. The network, uh, for example, SilkNet, and the country where the test was run. If you click on a specific test result, such as the one pertaining to the testing of, for example, 150m.com, there will be two buttons, uh, Data and Show in Uni Explorer. The first one will provide you access to the raw data, which is where you can find evidence of censorship or check the measurement for false positives. The Uni Explorer button will provide you the link to your measurement, which is automatically published on Uni Explorer in real time. If you scroll down an Uni Explorer measurement page, you will view the raw measurement data there as well. The same can be done with any other test, whether you check the accessibility of your messengers or circumvention tools, the results will be published on Uni Explorer in real time. Instead of running each test manually, you can enable automated testing through the settings of the Uniprobe app. To do that, go to the settings section of the app and enable the automated testing option. Automated testing means that Uniprobe will run all tests in the background multiple times per day, testing a different set of websites each time. Automated testing excludes the performance tests to avoid extensive traffic consumption, but it still tests websites, circumvention tools, and messengers. We strongly recommend enabling automated testing to contribute regular measurements every day. This will help the Internet Freedom Community observe censorship trends 
and patterns and detect new blocks when they emerge in your country. To avoid cluttering the test results section of your app, the automated test results will be published only on Uni Explorer and will not be visible through the test results section. So there are some other specific settings related to separate tests. First of all, due to bandwidth constraints, the Uniprop desktop app is configured to only test as many websites as it can connect to within 90 seconds. Therefore, if you are testing manually, the more times you tap run, the more websites you will test. Expand the amount of seconds so that you can perform longer testing, or turn off the limit test duration option to test all websites in the list. To test a specific category of websites, for example, websites related to media or human rights organizations, please go to the website settings and click Edit. Now choose all the categories you need, and once you run your next website's test, Unipro will only test the websites from the specific categories you've selected. The same list of categories will be applied to Automated Testing Mode 2. To test specific websites of your choice, beyond those included in the lists mentioned earlier, Please go back to the dashboard, then click on the Websites card, and click on the Choose Websites button. Here you can add the websites that you want to test. For example, I will add uh, facebook.com, even though it's included in global test list. Please ensure that the URLs are typed correctly, so Uniprobe would be able to test them accurately. For example, http facebook.com is not accurate, and to check it, we can go to the Facebook website through our browser and copy URL from the search line. So here we go. For Facebook, it is https www.facebook.com and now it can be added to the Uniprobe and tested. So you can add as many websites as you want and click Run and Uniprobe will test all the websites that you have added. And that was a short introduction to the Uniprobe desktop application. There are many more functions and detailed settings to look into, so please check our user guide for Uniprobe desktop to find the rest. And thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please share them in the comments or through our Slack channel.